the stunning political scandal that is rocking Capitol Hill. Republican Congressman Mark Foley abruptly resigned Friday after questionable emails he sent to a teenage boy. Dennis Haster convicted of a financial crime, part of a scheme to mask something more egregious, his molestation of children. Hush money used to pay a man who says Hastert sexually abused him when he was 14 years old. There are now five former Ohio State wrestlers accusing Republican Congressman Jim Jordan of knowing about a team doctor's alleged sexual misconduct. 43 men who say they were sexually assaulted, abused, molested, or harassed by Dr. Richard Strauss. George Nader. His criminal history included multiple convictions for child pornography and child molestation. This morning, a judge sentenced Ralph Shorty to 15 years in prison. Police caught Shorty in a hotel room with a then 17-year-old boy. Roy more defiant as more accusers step forward alleging sexual misconduct. This is the shopping mall where some say it was common knowledge and not a big secret that Roy Moore would flirt with teenage girls when he was in his 30s. One accuser says that Moore initiated a sexual encounter back in 1979 when she was just 14 years old. Mm. The new charges against Joel Greenberg. Sex trafficking of a minor and stalking a political opponent. Order Republican Congressman Matt Gates allegedly having a sexual relationship with a 17 year old girl investigators examining whether he quote violated federal sex trafficking laws Keelan Maxwell is accused of helping Epstein sexually abuse underage girls I've met her numerous times over the years especially since I lived in Palm Beach and I guess they lived in Palm Beach uh, but I wish her well I wish her well oh! seriously this, this is such a, you know, it's like uh, when they're accusing you of doing something, it's because they're doing it. You understand? I mean, the list is long of uh, Republicans that have been caught with uh, underage women, underage boys, underage children, under age, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's so long that it's about 310 names, 310 names. Go visit us at randyroads.com and click on the homework. You'll see there's there's part one that's included in the homework today. Republicans, sexual predators, abusers, and enablers, part one. And then if you uh, open part one, you should get links to parts two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 310 names. 310 names of Republicans who have been caught with underaged children. This is why they were so virulently loud and trying to equate a judge who literally puts people away for egregious, heinous behavior. This is why they didn't want her on the court. Kevin in Texas. Greetings. Greetings. I'm on speakerphone. Is that all right? Yeah, yours is really good. Best Great. speaker I ever heard. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, keep, keep giving it to him. Boy, I, I, I love your program. It, that, that's, that was disgusting what was just on a few seconds ago. But... I'm telling you, and that's just a, a brief little, uh, you know, walk down recent memory lane. Oh, it's... It, uh, well, what I was calling about was I was what I was channel surfing and I saw uh, on the Nazi Newsmax network, uh, <laughs> they uh, Rand Paul was on there blaming NATO for uh, encroaching on Putin on <gasps> Russia. What? Oh, yeah. It, it, he's his idea was Putin uh, or NATO, these countries after Russia, the Soviet Union broke up, you know, weren't going to be part of NATO when all these other countries had joined. And this, it, he's giving Putin an excuse. He's basically uh, saying Putin's, you know, right by uh, his aggression. It, it, it's terrible. So here's here's the greatest point to argue with people who say crap like that. Okay. So we all know Ukraine is not part of NATO, okay? It wasn't, and it Correct. isn't. But if, you, if, if Putin wanted a border that didn't have a NATO country, 
on it, then he should have left Ukraine alone (laughs) because now Ukraine will be admitted to NATO and that's all he'll have on his border. But just to look at all, uh, I mean, if he took Ukraine, if he took Ukraine, look at every country that borders Ukraine. They're all NATO countries, every one of them. So if he was looking to get NATO off of his border by invading and taking Ukraine, he would have ended up with every NATO country on the new border after he took Ukraine. Poland, Romania, Latvia, Lithuania, all of these countries would, all these NATO countries would surround what is now Russia if he took Ukraine. Now, that's how you know that Putin would never stop with Ukraine. The same excuse that Rand Paul is telling you could be used again to say, now we have to get rid of Poland. Now we have to get rid of Romania. Now we have to get rid of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Estonia, right? He could use that excuse all over again, which is why Rand Paul is a moron. Oh, correct. Well, remember, he was... uh... He was referring to that verbal agreement that with Russia and the other nations that uh, certain countries wouldn't become NATO or something like that. that well, here's the-, the only agreement that there actually is, and this is the one that Russia is violating, and it's a big one. It's an important one if you care about nuclear weapons. So Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons in exchange for an agreement by the United States and Russia being parties to this agreement that we would never and Russia would never militarily assault Ukraine. That's a real agreement. Ukraine did turn over its nuclear weapons. They're gone. And look at the way Russia, uh, you know, uh, uh, upholds its uh, agreement. Yeah, I I think he just wanted to get some airtime because uh, well, he's, he was he's a putz. Okay, that's that's the official word for what he is. He is a putz. He's a puke. Okay, he's he he's a little Nazi, another little guy with little guy issues. It's just it's really sad, and it seems to be epidemic in the Republican Party. They just want to be able to take whatever they want and excuse it away by saying this or that. Yeah, it's, it's do as I say and think like I do, or else you're you're worthless. You're no good. I, it's terrible. Hey, keep up the good work and and oh, you keep it the, up. You keep it get up. The, get the women to, to tell men. Listen, this Republican people, Republican Party, is no good for women. They uh, they are against anything. They're women. against everything. Listen, I, I will tell you, I'm, I'm just looking at uh, all these states that are anti-women, that are they're trying to tell women what to do because the state knows better than women do about what to do. Like uh, Kentucky, Florida, Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, Idaho. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.